calling for a better system for alerting people to a coastal disaster. This week's North Canterbury earthquake and tsunami warnings for coastal New Zealand brought the need for efficient and timely communication into focus. The chairman of the New Zealand Coastal Society, Rick Leafting, says some lessons can be learned from this week's offence. Look, I, I think uh, we responded very, very well with the information that we had at hand. Uh, one of the big things that have come out of this is, look, it was, is what it was in terms of the information that was available. One of the key things out of it though is the messaging around that and the alerting. I think that's where we do need to have some more work on. Dunedin South MP Claire Curran was the keynote speaker at this morning's session. She says central government needs to be more involved in the issues that affect coastal New Zealand. Central government can show leadership um, and that um, because we've got more than one coastal community affected by rising sea levels and coastal erosion, we really do need to t uh, see it as a central government issue rather than just a local government issue. The Dunedin South Member of Parliament says the coastline has been grossly affected ever since colonisation. In the 1840s, Pākehās moved in um, and, and what that impact has been. And, and one of the biggest issues is that, um, is that there needs to be central government involved in the future and looking at the future and developing a master plan. The conference continues over the next few days and Rick Leafting says the main thrust of his talk will focus on coastal inundation. Uh, what the Waikato Regional Council have produced is a coastal inundation tool. So it provides the user with an interactive way to actually see what if we had a half a metre or a metre or some other uh, level of sea level rise and what areas would be affected. The New Zealand Coastal Society's theme for this conference is He Waka Eke Noa, which the society says translates as a canoe in which we are all in with no exception. Delegates are due to tour some of Dunedin's coastal areas over the next few days. Daryl Baser, The South Today.